ball away twice. Very stingy on D. What's that? But Safa's going to get it first. This is a big game for Problem. If he can win, the, win this game, he keeps himself ahead of the rest you of the pack in first place. The sound. I'm turning it up. Oh, there you, oh, you did it. Something going on over there. What, what is that, your music? Yeah. Problem calling out Safa on something. I think he wanted him to make sure he, he had the white noise going on in the background. You know, pro Problem doesn't... He's one of those guys, when, when you go and get the playbooks from Problem, and you go up there and you say, hey, Problem, what playbooks are you running this game? He, he looks around, he, he makes sure no, nobody's watching. <laughs> he, he won't tell you verbally. He, he writes it down on a piece of paper. Oh, yeah. Doesn't want them to have any advantage. He doesn't want, he's veteran enough, but he's not trying to give these guys an inch. And like I was saying, this is a big game for him. This win will ensure that he's still in first place amongst this Legends division. But and a loss give, here you know, opens him up to, for a lot of people to catch him. You know, we give a lot of insight over here, and we do a lot of predictions. We see the play art. So it's very important for these guys to have white noise and either music or game sounds going on in their ears. And that's what Problem was checking in on there, making sure he wasn't sitting over there. Uh, I'm not saying faking the whole thing, but he, we, we heard it. He had some jams laying him down. First and ten. Tell me, I got bars. <laughs> I'm waiting. I'm well, waiting for that, the right time. Well, now that the white noise is on, <laughs> so I can't hear us. So let me That's get, actually let me the give name of my album. That, let me give you some of that. <laughs> white noise. Can I give you some playbook <laughs> Yeah, let's do please? it. Give it to me. You got Safa right now running his patented West Coast offensive playbook. He's got the Baltimore defense on the other end. Problem is in the Seattle Seahawks offensive playbook and the Indianapolis Colts defensive playbook. How about from here on out, you just tell me when someone's not in the West Coast? We'll just assume. Yeah. <laughs> we'll just assume. Well, well the some West of these guys, you know, we've seen some players switch up their playbooks. Yeah. We've seen true, use three different playbooks. We've seen Problem use several playbooks on offense. Guys like Safa, Joe, Dougie, I mean, they've just been in this West Coast. One, offensive one, playbooks one, all season long. Same. Call it the EMB bunch, but this time he goes under center, gets a block, has some room. Herschel still oh, on his feet. No. All the way down to the 31. Vintage Herschel Walker. Rumbling, bumbling, and stumbling. Fighting for yards, and I have a feeling this is going to be a grisly game going down over here between Safa and Proper. Two highly motivated players. This is a big game in the season. You know, Herschel had a so-so pro career. A lot of it because of the trade, things of that nature. But in college at Georgia, he was one of the best, maybe the best running back in the history of college football. The thing that stands out to me with Herschel isn't even football related. I remember MMA. Was about 50 years <laughs> old coming out in MMA fights. And he actually ran through the opponents they put in front of him. Yeah. I mean, granted, they, they seem like some tomato cans, but to be that old and to be able to get in the ring and be that gully and come away with a W, you got to respect it. You know, a lot of these youngsters, and that's the cool thing about Madden, you know, they never saw Herschel Walker play, you know, and a lot of times they never even see the name until you, you mentioned you get in the weekend league, you're playing, and you're like, who the heck is Richard Dent? Yeah, exactly. Well, he, he was a Super Bowl MVP for one. He was on the 85 Bears, was the best defense ever. And he was actually up for the league MVP, too. I remember the one for me was Paul Krause. I'm like, who is this guy? Paul Krause, 6'3", safety. I mean, he looks nasty. I'm like, oh, yeah, by the way, he's like the all-time interception <laughs> leader. So, oh, my bad. So not only an ultimate team do you get to play the game, have fun, assemble your roster, it's a little history lesson as well. Absolutely. So third and 13 at the 15, Safa on a drive. Trying to strike first over problem. Trying to go for a clean sweep here in the division. Throws it into traffic. Problem able to knock it down with Renfro. Safa, you're going to have to Settle for your three here, take the points. Especially when you're playing problem. You want to take those points any chance you can get them. Because you're going to be in a fight till the very end. Like we 
talking about. This is a big game. You got problem at five and two right now with his record in Ultimate League, and Mustafa Jones at four and three. So if Safa was able to win this game, he, he, you know he'd be right there with Drini at five and three. He'd put problem at five and three. He'd be at five and three himself. I mean, this is a big game for Mustafa Jones, especially a guy that started the season off zero and two. Well, Musafa Jones with a win would have the tiebreaker over problem to win the division. Control his own destiny. That's what's at stake. They'll set their audibles. I mentioned before problem had a terrible running performance earlier in the season against Safa's defense. Let's see if he's had some time to iron out those mistakes. Well, you're talking to us about his grisly run defense that he used to kind of lock down problem. who has got, you know, one of the best run games not only this year but ever. So right now we're seeing the game from Musafa's perspective. You see him picking his play in that 3-4 odd defense. Send some audibles right there. So we'll, get to, we'll get to take a look in the mind of Musafa. What, 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 what adjustments is he making? What, what type of defensive front is he calling? And you see those little yellow earmarks by the plays. Those are the plays that he actually has in his audibles. And they don't have to do this. This is agreed on ahead of time that they're going to take time. They're going to set their audibles. And then they're going to jump in and get this thing going. So you can see in the bottom left hand of the screen, you saw the personnel that problem's coming out in. And now, based on that, he picks his D. And you know we always talk about the inside-outside runs that everybody likes to do. I like Safa's defense right there in this 3-4 because he pinches that D-line in, but then he's got the linebackers spread out, so he's got some beef for that inside run, but then he's also got some goons on the outside containing the edge. It looks like good run defense in that 3-4-odd formation. I mean, I might be all the way in this game. We're not surprised to see me in that same exact front in weekend league. And now, yep, there it is. He spread those linebackers and pinched that D-line. Drop back to pass. Has time and has room. So a nine-yard gain for Wentz. And on the left-hand side of the screen, Joke has worked his way all the way down to the five-yard line on Tweez. Here with spin. Joke spins back to the one. It's a good game earlier this season. I mean, Joke and Tweez, a little trash talk. There was a lot of emotion in that one. You know, I'm not going to lie to you. When I, when I went up to the stage to talk playbooks with these guys before the game, Tweez was looking a little nervous. Saw him in his interviews. He feels guys getting more keen to his offense. And at three and four, he probably feels he's in a must-win situation, and that's not going to help him. Now. Quick high pass on the run commit to Warfield. And Joke taking an early. Should be 7 nothing lead, and it's up, and it's good. And over here on the right, Problem has worked it all the way down to the five. First and goal. That was quick. Trying to take the lead over Safa here on his first possession. He's going to take a timeout over here on the right side. Stop it at 3-4 over. Right. Kind of lines up exactly like a 4-3. You see that? Stretches it outside. Linebacker's there. Right there. Oh, he's right there. fighting. Oh, but he makes Come it on. in. Problem begging him. And he fights through for the touchdown. Look at Eric Wright. He looks very motivated, representing that Luminosity, Team Luminosity. That's the eSport team that sponsors them. And there's very few times you see someone able to sweep problem in a two-game series. So you know he's extremely motivated for this matchup. And you know, he's the greatest Madden player of all time. He's very respectful, but he's also very prideful. And you don't become the greatest without having some pride. Last time we saw a problem play, he had Leonard Fournette as his running back. He's gone back to Henry, and that's because in three games, Fournette fumbled it three times. That's interesting because 
Mike's offense just played his run so well last game, and Henry not very good as we talked about like running routes out of the backfield when, when you want to dump it down to him, but probably willing to deal with that to get that extra beef on the ground. Zoffin out, trailing by four. Goes out to Herschel Walker. Herschel Walker is 55 cap. And that's compared to the 22, excuse me, Derek Henry's 44. So it's 11 more cap for you to have a player like Herschel Walker. And Herschel Walker will run some better routes for you out of the backfield. So that's what that gives you, and maybe a little extra speed as well. And for problem, one thing you got to admire is he's, his preparation for his opponents is awesome. He, he's in this dollar three two six formation because he knows Sapa loves to go in this scum bunch and run it all game long. So problem gets out of his nickel three three five scheme, switches up his team, switches up his playbooks, and goes to this dollar because he knows no. we'll get that three th no. scum bunch no. help picked off by problem. Takes it back to the 35. Look at it again, lurked. Oh my goodness, and that's the problem. Taking away multiple routes, takes the drag, passes it on to the other zoner, then runs upfield. Use a pick on the post. 81, 81. He's a beast on the defensive side of the ball. So 7-3, here's the turnover. It looks like problem is going to run this all the way down to the end of the first. A little H2O break right there. Except the water. They got the controller down. And he's going to take this one all the way to the end of the first. So he'll have it at the 35. It'll be second and 10 when we start the second quarter between problem and Musafa. Here's the scores at the end of the first. Echo Fox joke with a 7-0 lead over Tweez. And Luminosity's problem with a 7-3 lead over Musafa Jones. So here to start the second quarter between problem and Safa, it's a... 7-3 game here in the Legend Conference. We're in Division B. What's at stake here is who might win the division. Problem on top, Safa beat him earlier. If you could beat him here, he'd have the tiebreaker. Exactly, Safa right behind him in those standings. So four-point game after the turnover. Second and 10. Here's the 35 to start quarter number two. Rolling out. Nothing there. Can't get a block and Wentz gets turned over and flipped out of bounds at the 28. A little change of pace right here for Problem. And once again, this is him being very smart. Goes to that gun ace. That's a new look. Look at this. That gun twin ace offset. And he's just showing Sop a new look, knowing that that EMB crew. And there's a ball yeah. And it's scooped over. Yeah. And he needed it as Woodley. Recovers, and now they both have a turnover apiece. Musafa Jones pops him in the back row. He says, I don't care what new formations you hit the lap for. Lap. Boom, click on, hit stick. Way to get some momentum if you're Musafa Jones. That was a big play on defense. And here he goes. Walker, you know who caused the fumble? It's this guy here. He's deep on the roster. You might not have heard of him. Khalil Mack. Oh, he's pretty good. <laughs> what I hear. First and ten. That's the team of the year version. Let's get a game update. Over on this side of things, Joke is up to a 7-0 lead. Tweez going way deep on a fourth and eight all the way to the crib. 7-7 seven, seven, tie ball game. 4.45 left in the second quarter. Joke really cannot believe it. 
How many times have we seen that out of Tweez? He'll struggle, he'll struggle, then he'll hit you with a bomb. How about those joke reaction shots? Joke's got some of the best reaction shots. <laughs> it's almost like a cartoon. Are you kidding me? <laughs> well, it's 7-3 here. Safa after the fumble is on a drive, and that's a pretty ball down to the 21. That's a big fumble by Masafa Jones. And Problem just can't escape those fumbles. It, you know, it doesn't matter if you got Lennon Fournette, Derrick Henry. Hands it off. Nice stick work. Be able to pick up four. Back, back, back. Maybe that's one of the benefits as well is getting that Herschel Walker spending an extra cap. You know, he's probably got a higher carry rating. And that Henry and Fournette protect you a little bit more from those big hits, less likely to fumble. Second and six. Walker. Fight. Picks up two. Got to get a touchdown here. Uh, uh, what of those are you more going gonna go home and use first? You're gonna get the Herschel Walker. You're gonna get the Derrick Henry. I would say the Fournette, but I really feel it's between the Walker and the Henry. Well, Henry is a little bit more obtainable. When those you get to those legends, those guys are really geeked out. They're harder to find. But Herschel Walker you might know is a guy you can build a team around. You might know a guy. Might be able to hook you up with something. Just saying. <laughs> Fourth and five. Yeah, I, I guess I could talk to Donnie more. <laughs> I'm just kidding, Archie. Go talk to Donnie. Donnie's my FIFA guy. <laughs> we, we talked MLS down in Orlando. That's up and it's through. And so 7-6, Safa stalls out again. Yeah. Hard to win games when you're kicking field goals. Probable angle out at the 38. Let's get a quick update. Well, guys, we saw Tweez go deep, so Joke says, why not me too? I'm going to go ahead and take this thing to the house. He is up 14-7. Tweez going to need to battle back here. About three and a half minutes left in the second quarter. Good game over there between Tweez and Joke. And that game earlier in the season was just a back and forth, back and forth. Scored Bonanza and looks like they're picking up right where they started. Out to the 45. Second and four. That problem will probably take this to the two minute warning. We'll at least take a look, see what kind of front is out there. going a two minute warning like you said and that's a good point a lot of people like to do that even if you're not going to run want to run a play sometimes it's good to just come out to the line of scrimmage just to get a look on what your opponent comes out in and we saw it in the w true game where it looked like true was coming out as fourth down he made me take it to the two minute warning think about things ran the play picked up the first down yeah no, that's been a strategy that you see both in high level man and in in real life it why not my problem oh, Bo, Bo Jackson. Man, and that, that's just a scary let's go. That, that's a focus. Let's go. Let's go. And look at the look in that man's eyes. That's not someone you want to be dealing with on the stick to John Madden football. And I think Masafa Jones is game enough for the challenge. Two good game faces right there. Masafa got to show some heart. He's known in the community as the Lion. <laughs> no, no, he, you call, yes. the one that called him the lion. Yes. Look at that. Wow. Oh, that was scummy. Waves fair Come catch. On. It bounces. Let's take a look at the touchdown first. And then some unfortunate situation. The Safa at the one. Oh, sometimes in Madden football, you'll just see this crazy awkward stuff. One, one, one. And Safa one. just got himself in a situation. He needs to be careful to not get the safety. Problem in the backfield. Oh, uh, oh yeah. If you're Safa, you got to take as much as this time as you can. And you got to get out of that formation. Problem just showed you that on that run play, he can shoot that gap and hit you in the backfield. You got to try something different. Pressed up on the outside. Oh, this is scary territory if you're Safa Jones. He beat the cover too. Gets the rid of it. There is Delaney Walker oh. out to the 19, and all is forgotten. 
Even problem tells Masatha Jones has to tip his hat on that one. Says good play. Very poisy by Musafa. Jamal Daniels from Atlanta, Georgia. Even with Barr, he tried to knock that down at the line. That's incredible at the user. And that is a dangerous pass that Jackson can't hang on to. Six for ten for Mariota with a pick. I mean, that, now that, that first down just got him back to the 20 where he probably should have been had he got that fair catch. You just got to get to halftime here. You can't give problem the ball. In the 09, I think he's going for the gusto. Ooh. <laughs> Harrison breaks a tackle. First down and more and gets out of bounds at the 36-yard line. This started at his own one. Switch, switch, switch. Three, three. That's the thing is this, you know, Musafa just nothing gets to him. That's what I'm telling you, is his attitude has been fantastic since that 0-2 start. He, he doesn't seem to get too frustrated. He's got his game face on at all times, playing with a lot of passion, locked in, focused at the task at hand. And like I said, he's one of my dark horses to make a run in this ultimate league. I, I think he's a real sleeper. Throws it over the middle, it's Harrison. And he's a fun guy too. I was getting, you know, we flew on the same plane, both coming from the south, you know, flying through Atlanta. I said, what, 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 what group are you in for boarding the plane? And he said, I'm in group five. And I said, oh, I didn't even know there was a five. <laughs> That's way back there. I mean, he's like, where are you sitting? And I'm like, well, you know, I got a pretty good seat. I, mean, you know, I don't want to talk about it. We, we can't he, he was back at like 52. I'm like, I don't even I didn't even know there was a row 52. We can't get my dude in a, a better group, man. Who do I got to talk to? A lot of these bad guys, especially the, the younger guys, haven't traveled as much, so they don't, they're, not as, they're not as savvy with working their way up the ladder. According to Master Gamer, we saw in the Madden Classic, he's a veteran now. Oh, he's Madden got it, huh? sent them all over the place as he knows all the little tricks. One, 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 one. Alert three. Alert three. You know, you can always get that free back check at the gate if you need to. That's right. Ball oh, throws a pick! Yes! And the goal! <laughs> there you go, keep getting lucky all game. Oh, he's talking to Zappa! Fumble, fumble, fumble every Still game. Still talking to him. Touchdown! Oh, man, the problem, like I said, he's got it built up. He's fed up with those fumbles, and Zappa throws a Stevie. And Problem capitalizes and was letting them hear about it. You don't see Problem talk often. Especially to Safa, who doesn't say much. And Safa's just like, well, I'm going to put you in a box the rest of the game. We'll see. 15-point lead now with 17 seconds before the half. Oh, man. Put him up. Very, 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 very good. We, we need a sample. We need to get that clip. I'm not sure. I'm not sure we're... We would be able to, I don't know if we have the audio rights. Maybe Prom can work it out for us. And this is him. He's just swagging right now, talking. Not even scoring. He's talking. The intensity to he it. needed a bit more time to talk. Safa has a timeout, though. 15-point lead for Problem. Pitch to the outside. Gets a block. It can't be fun when you... You got the greatest Madden player of all time, the Grizzly problem. And it's already hard enough dealing with him on the sticks. And then you see him kind of angry. He's like, fumble, fumble, fumble. He's yelling at you after he's making plays. I mean, that's a lot to deal with on the sticks. But like you said, I think Masafa's game, he's ready. Six one, one, one. Six one, one, one. Here's the motion from Grant. Pitches it outside to Herschel. And less problem stops it. That's how the quarter will come to an end. At the half, big lead for problem. 21 to 6 over Musafa. And then between Echo Fox Joke and Tweez, it is 17 to 10 here at the half. Let's start the third quarter over here with Tweez and Echo Fox Joke. 
and a seven-point game in Division A of the Legend Conference. This is a big game for both of these guys. Kick it away to Tweez. And he fumbles. Still on the ground. Picked up. That was Renfro that found it at his feet. Big fumble recovery. But Tweez joking out all kinds of momentum. He was able to jump on that up seven to start the second half. Very fortunate for Tweez that was able to recover that fumble. Hands it off to Henry. Henry will take it to the 38. Opening drive of the half for Tweez. See if he can work it down here and tie it up. I really enjoyed watching these two play earlier in the season. It was a back and forth battle, a lot of trash talk. Joke had the 38 to 28 win over Tweez earlier in the season. Henry. Both of these guys combined for nearly 400 yards passing, and that's a lot in a five-minute quarter game. But Tweez in these situations, this is where it's difficult. You're, you're in a blatant passing down situation. Joke's played you before. He, he's going to know what to expect, what you want to go to. Got to try to go to something different. Looks like, looks like what that's what Tweez did. He's in a little pistol strong twin on the left. New little formation we haven't seen from the young Grizzly. Mixing it up. Low throw to Jackson. Right at midfield. And he's now two for five in the passing game for 76 yards. That's very, very smart by Tweez. You know Jokes watch the tape on you. You know he's looking out for your money plays. You give him a different look. Throw a hot one to get the first down on third down. That was a big play by Tweez. And he's probably just going to go back and run the ball. Nope, he's slanging. Watson, B was covered up, so he checks it down on a mini playmaker. And Henry able to work it to the 37. He's moving the rock, this hoodie choke. Echo Fox, I mean, not, not only do you, you know, you get the sponsor, they do all types of cool things for you, but all that cool care that they throw you, I mean, it, it's got to be nice. Nice shot, covering up X there and then throws it away. hoodies and shirts. I mean, that's a nice hoodie, Coltrane. What about that swag jacket you had on earlier? That's pretty nice. It's a nice jacket. It's just not in here. <laughs> We're in California. And, and you didn't go home in between. You didn't go back to Orlando. You just, you're just you're a straight to L.A. kind of guy. Yeah, I've been on. I don't even want to think. It's been weeks. Been on, been on hey, for weeks. When you're calling John, then you at all these <laughs> events and seeing all these good competitive batting games. Who, who am I to complain? <laughs> I mean, I used to pay. I used to, back when I played. I was coming out of my pocket, going yeah, to the sponsors. Yeah, you, yeah. You, 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 it was an honor and a privilege. It still is to be be a part of this stuff. Wish they had an ultimate league back when I was playing. I would have did whatever it took to make that thing. Of course, when I played, it was the Madden Challenge where at 32 different cities at the NFL stadiums, you had to show up, win your tournament, and then the 32 winners would get flown out for a location to battle it out for a big prize, usually $100,000. Yeah, very humbling. We're very honored to bring you guys this action week after week. And you think about competitive Madden. Now, like back then, it was 30. 32 cities, each tournament was about 200 people. You fight through that, all to get to that final tournament for the 100,000, and it was pretty much winner take all. Now there's a million dollars out there, and you know, the money is spread around. You don't gotta come in first place to walk away with a decent amount of cash. I mean, you saw a problem, he didn't win one, one tournament last year of the majors, he still made over 100 grand. Yeah, 120 last year. Echo Fox Joke is trying to see his total rise up. Earned about 65,000 over the last two years and a nice playmaker all the way down to the 11. And the ultimate, like you said, everyone here already guaranteed himself $10,000. Get that buy, you guaranteed 20 and then a win. 
get to the, the conference championship, you have forty thousand oh. dollars. Make it to the Super Bowl, you're guaranteed seventy racks. When it gets a hundred plus a thousand, we're just throwing money all over the place. Shout out to EA in the NFL. Boom. Good hit. That sucks. In case you didn't know. Gotta watch this low throw from Tweed. Joke knows it. That slot receiver on the left. Second and 13. Likes these out routes as well. Watson. He's gonna throw it low. Oh, Joke's and it's low over right it. to Slay. Darius Slay Jr. with the pick. Oh, and you know if I know it's coming. Joe definitely knows it's coming. That low throw out the left slot. And if you go to that replay, there's about three defenders sitting all over that. Maybe even four defenders. And Joke has watched the tape, and he is ready for that one, young Grizzly. You're going to have to go deeper in the playbook when you're dealing with Echo Fox Joke. First and 10 at the 13. After the turnover, pitches it outside. Walker makes a man miss. Can't cut it back. Boy, that's your chance to get sticky. Jokes, you know, he's more of a surgical player. He's got good stick work, but this isn't where he really flourishes. You got to make this man miss. Try. That's Amos with his secure tackler chemistry. That makes it a little easier said than done. I don't know if that was Amos, but you popped up. Had to be someone with that unfakeable. I don't know who we would have on his team that has that. Stick through the roster. And Amos is the only 38 he's got on the team. It's power up tier five for the Chicago Bears. Maybe I'm tripping. Give you the benefit of the doubt. How about that, Coach? Well, if it's not, then their the, the roster's off. There's not many 38s in the league. Are you, are you sure it wasn't a. Oh! And there's the ST popping up on Amos. All right, you were right. You were right. I'm sorry. I don't got my glasses. <laughs> Good run once again. And Joe taking it. I just want to go back to him getting the interception. That ST, yeah, him getting that interception on the low throw. When you're playing online or whatever, you might be able to get away with the same thing over and over again. But these guys are going to sniff you out. They're going to adapt. They're going to adjust. Good example of it on that interception by Joke. Well, we've reached the end of the third quarter. Five minutes to go for both of these games. And here's the scores. Joke with a seven-point lead over Tweez, but he's driving. And problem in Musafa, there was no score in the entire third quarter. Tweez and Joke here at the start of the fourth in a 17-10 game. We're in Division A of the Legend Conference here late in the season. Got to get some wins here. Try to make it to the playoffs. Oh, yeah, there's big games right here. And two of the favorites in this league currently in complete control right now of these games. You got Echo Fox Joe. Every favorite in this legend division. And obviously problem right where very few times you'll ever see him be the underdog or anything. Walker cuts it back. Down to the six, 15 carries for 122. The crazy thing, me problem and Dubby were talking about who could put down the most wings. They were saying, I'm the underdog. Took offense to that one, poor thing. Second and three. Tweed's trying to not lose two games in a row. First down. It's gonna be third and one at the three. Joke's just going to kill this clock, too. Let's go for a little bit of double box here, just because we can. Tweez is at the three. Safa trying to hold Problem out. Problem's down to the nine, second and goal. Problem's a complete control in that game against Safa. Over here on the left, it's third and one, remember. Four minutes to go in the game. Joke maybe trying to put this one out of reach. Hands it off to Herschel. Good for Joe. 
That'll be another first down and potentially another almost two minutes off the clock if he chooses so. Problem is gets one into the end zone right there. He's all over the top of Jones. Again, was revenge from that loss earlier in the season. Top of Jones going to have to go back to the drawing board. It's that problem right game plan. Especially these two might face each other down the line in the playoffs. Playoffs? Playoffs? Hands it off and it's stuffed. I'll tell you what, Joke's not too mad about this stuff right now because this is just letting him kill more and more clock. He's going to wind this down and daily run the ball here. And if he doesn't score a touchdown, just take it to the two-minute warning and kick the field goal. Go up two possessions. Don't want to snap this thing early. At least get it under 230. Stretch it. Herschel. Gets away from one, but you're not going to get away from Amos. Once you see that blue flicker, you, you, you pretty much know it's game over. Breaking new tackles. So he's going to kick it through and make it a 10-point lead. Tweez used the timeout there to stop the clock with 2.16 to go. Quick drive right here, get himself some points, make it one possession. But with that timeout, you pretty much solidify that you're going to have to onside kick down the road. Here's problem with Safa. We need it. We need to go back to Tweez's game at some point. Twenty-eight to six, Safa. He had a big win earlier in the season over Problem. Held Problem to thirteen points, but Problem ready the second time around. Rolling out, throwing it downfield, and That's here's another pick. <laughs> and you can say night-night. Good night, Safa. Awkward, Safa, too. On the blue list, this is what you came up with. Yeah. Well, you're down 22. Yeah, he has got a chuck. Not much he can do. Problem letting him hear it. Well, we that was all she wrote on that side. It's tweeze and joke now. 154 to go. Here's a third and ten. This is the game right now, Coltrane. Watson in the pocket. Buying time. Gonna have to throw it away. Oh, he's slanging. And it's Grant on a comeback. Not a comeback route, but just because he finished his route, trying to work back to the, the quarterback. Hey, you extend the play long enough, you let your receivers get into that get open mode. Sometimes they just find space. That's what happened with Tweed right there. Good pocket. Good Watson. Swing. And he holds on to it down at the 18. Tweed is moving. You got a tempo here, Tweed. If you had the three timeouts here, you'd be feeling pretty good. You're right. Did not have I'm not sure why he burned that timeout before the two-minute warning. That was, that was strange. Two-minute warning didn't, didn't help him much of that timeout with him. Uh-oh. Throws it away. I'm telling you, you're going to need an onside kick no matter what. Maybe take one more look at it. He's going to kick the field goal right here. Now, even if he doesn't get the onside kick, there's a chance as long as he stops the first down. It'll just get be a few point. seconds left in the game. It's really got to sell on the onside kick. Oh, 30 seconds left less if he doesn't get this onside. The problem is, too, if Joke recovers the onside, he's in field goal range. Or he can make it a two-possession ball game again, and Joke's got it. You got to get that more up the line. Let's get a game update. Well, guys, problem continuing to roll over here, Rico. This is about as open as a person can be in Madden football. Uh, yeah. When his offense is clicking like this, nobody's stopping problem. Forget about it. 35-6 at the two-minute warning. Point differential. Huge for problem right there. In case he's in a tie with somebody for the bye in the Legend Conference. Same like the NFL playoffs. We'll have wild card, and there to the corner. 
It's Joke, and he'll lay down. What a problem, too. Like you said, just going for that point differential, piling on on South of Jones. You know, he's South of saying problem's just going to run the ball and kill the clock. So he run commits, and problem just goes up top. Well, he felt like... Safa got lucky against him. That was his point of view in the earlier game, way back in game three of the season. And now it's time for him to bend the knee. Only an ultimate team. You see Carson Wentz in the New England Patriots uniform. Joke is that Echo Fox hoodie hoodied up. He looks comfortable in that chair, doesn't he? Cooler. That's Tweez's line. <laughs> Tweez, how you feeling? I'm cool and cheap. So that one's in the books. J joke with the win. And over here on this side, 35 to 6. Safa rolling out. Gotta be careful not to fumble there. You know, when we talk about point differential for problem, this is actually worse for Safa. It's killing Safa's point differential. Yeah, no, for sure. I'm just impressed that problems is able to adapt so well. There's another user alert, Anthony Baugh. Oh, no, he still got room. But his ability to adapt and change his game plan from game to game and match his personnel with your personnel and take away what you want to do. And this is a prime example of that. Holding soft at only six points. So that'll clinch the game for problem, and not only that, that'll clinch a playoff berth for Eric Problem Right. Not a bye, not the bye yet, but he'll get a playoff berth. He has clinched it. He is in the playoffs of the Ultimate League. Oh, that's a big deal. So his. Chase for his first belt in the MCS era is in full effect. Taking care of business over the last couple weeks here in the Ultimate League. And I got to admit, all the belts everyone has won have been nice. But no belt will be better and more prestigious than that first ever Madden Ultimate League belt. And Problem is well on his way to make a serious run for that championship. So it's a final, 35 to six problem with a huge win over Safa and Joke able to hold on against Tweez, 20 to 13. Our own Adrian Lawrence is standing by with problem. Problem, congratulations on your win over Musafa and you now have clinched for the playoffs. How does that impact the rest of your season? Uh, there's still two games left. I want to win both. I want to make sure I get a bye. Just not clinch because the bye is big. You know, getting to that next round is, is a big deal. And Musafa, earlier in the season, he had beat you when he held you to about 13 points, and then you just dominated here. How did you? How did you? How were you able to do this? Yeah, I I noticed some things that I did in my game um, that I could do better, and I fixed those. And, you know, the first game, like I said, the fumble killed me, and, and it almost hurt me in this game, too. I fumbled in both games. Um, been fumbling a lot, but uh, we got to stick with the guys. You know, you got to take the good with the bad. If I'm going to truck all that, you know, I guess there's going to be some fumbles sometimes. So, you know, I played good overall, and, you know, I was happy with the performance. Very nice. Well, congratulations, Thank and you. best of luck to the rest of the season. Thank you. All right, to you.